Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Chaotic Angle here, bringing back to you guys with another Defines video featuring on how to get new outfits to your character, known as uh, also known as appearances. Now, basically, if you don't know how to equip these outfits that you actually have obtained, or you just got them throughout the story mission, you really don't know how to put them on or access them. If you go to loadouts here, you can see your character here on the side. You can turn on the frame, yada yada yada. But if you go underneath that character, you can see there's there is appearances. Now, under appearances, you can change the title to whatever the hell you want. That's the title of your character when other people can see your name and whatnot and then you can change the uh, the headgear as you can see here I have a few different pieces myself and then if you go down to outfit you can change the outfits which again I have a few different pieces now a lot of these can either be uh, the headgear the outfit the titles can all be obtained through either story mission um, some side missions I think as well as um, purchasing purchasing them at certain vendors so vendors like uh, top-notch vendor um, I believe like if I hit map here I can show you some vendors there's the bug and chug vendor any vendor that has um, the uh, bu 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 like it's specifically named that like top-notch has their own vendor I know that for a fact the Von bo uh, the Von Botch industries vendor you can get them at um, there's a few different vendors that you can actually get them at that are actually um, have either titles or costume pieces. I know the the vendor over here for the, where you get the uh, the Dodge Durango is actually uh, sells the new costume piece. Uh, well, the new outfit that actually goes with the Dodge Durango itself. But uh, anyway, besides that point, you can also obtain them from uh, if you hit Escape and then go to Goals, go to Pursuits. And then you'll see Season 1 episodes, Chester and Charge Back Season 2. You probably won't get this you don't have the DLC, but if we go down to season one and click on Mount Tim, you can see that you can actually unlock other different costumes depending on if you complete these goals up here. So it says complete the Mount Tim exploration to pursuit. So I'd have to finish all these in order to actually be able to obtain the costume. And then you just do whatever it says. Earn a silver time trial, yada, yada, yada. It's a bunch of random stuff you got to kind of do. But after you complete it, you get the costume. It will automatically give it to you. You don't have to obtain it from anywhere. This one I need like, what is it? 5,000 total, uh, 50,000 total kills. No, I'm sorry. 5,000 total. Oh, no. I need 5,000. That will almost damage my nerve player. Oh, that's annoying. I need 50,000 total kills. 2,500 dark mana enemies. I almost have that. But, um, once you complete those, they'll be instantly given to you under your appearance here. If I click I, they'll be instantly put here. You just gotta look for the name, and then it will, uh, just show up instantly, and then you really won't have to worry about that. But another way you can obtain them is by going to if you go to goals some of these actually will tell you I don't know which ones they are let me see if I can find any but, but, but there's something I actually completed a while back uh, kill blah 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 oh, oh okay uh, there's some for co-op maps as well that can only be used on co-op maps just you can also obtain vehicles by doing this but uh, besides that point uh, bah, bah, bah. there's something I actually obtained but um Anyway, some of them will actually tell you to go and act I can't find any, but um, they'll actually tell you to go and pick up a data recorder from a certain map. Now, in order to actually uh, get to these maps, if I hit escape here, go to matchmaking, you can see, if I go into the first co-op, the maps will be listed right here. And you'll actually be able to pick up, uh, throughout these maps, there'll be three data, co uh, data recorders. If you pick up all three data recorders and then do whatever other crazy objectives that it, it tells you to do on the map, you'll basically be able to get the skin afterwards. You'll also get it while you're on the map. The minute you complete the actual all the challenges for whatever you need in order to complete uh, to get the map, no, in order to get the skin, you uh, you instantly get it. It, you don't have to go anywhere to claim it or anything. It will be directly on their appearance, so you can just kind of put it on and equip it. It doesn't give you any bonus armor or anything like that. It just uh, makes you look better. And, you know, having different variety throughout the game is definitely something that I find to be fun. Especially if you have a lot of different builds. You don't want to be using the same costume set for every single build. It's kind of annoying. But, um, in all honesty, uh, it's not as difficult. Uh, for me, I just, I did a few when I, I just went for the really awesome costume pieces when I, like the, like the armor that I'm wearing now, like this battle, the, uh, like the battle armor when I, I got it from like a co-op mission, just doing the challenges for it, and then it gave me the armor directly, like, as I was running that co-op mission, it was really badass, and I really enjoyed this armor, especially with the caption and blade, this armor looks absolutely sick, I, I love this armor, it's really freaking nice, but, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it for that, guys. I mean, in order to obtain these, like I said, you'll find three data recorders throughout the co-op mission. Once you obtain all three data recorders, um, they'll be scattered throughout the map. There'll be one in the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end, pretty much, or close to the end. But you should be able to pick them up uh, all before you find the final, uh, before you find and fight the final boss. So um, keep an eye out for that when you're running any co-op maps. And um, but besides that, that's it's pretty easy to obtain them, guys. Once you get them, you get that uh, costume or not, you'll be running around the fines. Looking like a badass. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the whole how to equip um, your outfits, pretty much, as well as appearances, as well as titles, I suppose. But um, disregarding that fact, my name's Chaotic Angle. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Kind of helps me out, and I hope to see you guys real soon. Later.